Dear. Dear, help me. Ting Yan. Do you know who's in bed 16? Yao Kexin, that superstar. She's the leading role in the recent hot drama, The Mystery Lover. Is she badly hurt? Just break a bit of skin. After the accident, her boyfriend was the first to be there, and he stayed with her the whole time. How can she be so lucky? He said I wouldn't allow her to get any hurt. Did you ignore my words? Jia. Jia, I'm fine. I can't let anything bad happen to you now. Get some rest. Mm. Hello. Where are you? I'm in the hospital. Does the Gu Group's business also involve hospitals? Are you following me? Mr. Gu thinks too highly of me. I saw a guy on the news who looked like you, so I'm just asking. Boring. Yes, it is. I knew it was you, but I had to make a call to humiliate myself. What a bastard, Gu Jingyan. He didn't even come when his wife was in a car accident. Is he busy making money to buy himself a coffin? Or maybe for buying me a coffin. Someone in the car behind you died in this accident. You're still joking? If I hadn't pretended to be your sister and signed the document for you, you couldn't even have got out of the hospital. That's right. I almost died. Yao Kexin is six weeks pregnant. Six weeks ago was exactly the day he was photographed at the Lake Villa. Ku Xinye, you've made my three years of persistence to become the biggest joke. What are you doing? What are you doing? Today is my ovulation period. It's time to do your job. Your mom's been pushing me to have a baby, but it's not something I can do alone. Is my mom pushing you? Or are you afraid of losing your position as Mrs. Koo? So you want to give birth to a bargaining chip? Yes, I'm afraid you might dump me. I advise you not to spend your time on this. I don't want a child for now. You don't want a child? Oh, you don't want to have children with me? What's the difference? No difference. Then let's get a divorce. Fine. As you wish. Mr. Gu, Mrs. Gu has gone. She left this. Leave it. Reason for divorce. The man is infertile and unable to have a normal conjugal sex life. So the couple's relationship has broken down. Hey. What do you mean? 
Literally. Let me know when you've signed it. Then we can go to get the divorce papers, and we will have nothing more to do with each other. I'm asking you what you mean by the reason for the divorce. Hey. 顾景言 ，I actually wanted to talk about this long ago. If you have time, you'd better go to a men's clinic. Your mother feeds me so much herbal medicine every day. What's the use of it? It doesn't work, no matter how much traditional Chinese medicine I take, because you are the one with the problem. Jiao Ruoxing. Hello, Miss Chow. Your customized room card has been locked. Of course, you can also renew it on your own. This man has taken revenge so quickly. Was I blind to love such a man before? That's not necessary. Just check out. Can I stay here for a night? Are you really divorcing Gu Jingyan? Yes, I am. Now he's being with Xiao Keqing again. What's wrong with him? Even though he wasn't willing to marry you back then, but you've been in love with him for three years. You've been nice to him for three years. Even if his heart is a block of ice, it should have melted. That bastard! Why is he still treating you like this? It's okay. I'm going to let myself go now, and let him go too. I plan to get a place to stay first. Then I will do with the dubbing for the drama, the story of the prince. I have to make money. Really, a top voice actress with ten million followers, Yu Mo Fanxin is finally coming back. Hey, by the way, don't let the chows know that I am Yu Mo Fanxin. My mother still needs the chows. Back then, you were threatened by the chows to marry Gu Jingyan for transferring your mom to another hospital, but it's okay. I'm sure you will be able to get rid of it. Okay. Hello, may I ask how can I get to the recording studio? Seven. The audition of actresses is next door at Qingshan Media. I'm here to test the audio. Where is the recording studio? Seventh floor. Thank you. Oh gosh, she is Yumu Fanxin. Her eyes are even more beautiful than Yao Keqing's, and they said she is ugly, so she doesn't show her face online. Hey, Mr. Guo, how's the audition going? Not yet to worry. It's done. I've already signed a contract with Rimu Fangsheng. I'll pay double for breach of contract. Ask her to give up this role. And about the project of Bay One Town, I'll add three percent to your profits.、Uh, are you serious? Yao Keqing used her resources to get the roles again and again. I doubt what they said online is true. Yes or no? <sighs> I'll think about it. Uh, doesn't your wife see you, Chao Ruoxing? Have you had enough of stalking me? Who's stalking you? If you want to know my schedule, you can just call me. Gu Jingyan, didn't anyone tell you you are shameless? Who followed you? Who the hell followed me? Why did you? What does it have to do with you? I don't want to fight with you. Qing Yang will be back tomorrow. Ma must ask to come home for dinner. Oh, what's it got to do with me? We will be divorced soon. I don't need to play the couple show with you anymore. Play the show? You are really good at playing it. The force and running away from home. Tell me, what kind of project are you trying to get for the Chiaos this time? There should be a limit to your greed. So in your eyes. I'm just a greedy woman. Fine. After the divorce, you won't have to suffer it anymore. Whether you continue to work with the Chaos or sever the ties will be none of my business. How could I expect anything from you? An impotent bastard, Gu Jingyan.
Fertility Hospital. Who cares about your stupid ring? Keep your money to get treatment for yourself. Hello? Dad? I have some more troubles here. You and Jingyan come here later and take them back to your mother in law. I can't let Chao Xuxian know that I'm divorcing Gu Jingyan. Okay. What do you look like this? Did you have a fight with Chao Ruoxing again? No, I didn't. Hello? Oh, uh, hello. Is this Gu Jingyan? Yes. Who is this? I'm a doctor from the Male Reproductive Medicine Hospital. You made an appointment by phone. May I ask, what kind of sexual dysfunction do you have? Fuck you! He's never going to stop? Hello? Xiao Ruoxie, don't you dare hang up on me. What's up? What's wrong with the telephone consultations? What are you talking about? The men's hospital called me. Isn't that great? You should have gone to the men's clinic a long time ago. Son of a bitch. You should have got treatment long ago. Every time Cha Shusheng gave something to the goose, he would ask Gu Jingyang about it. Or maybe I can ask Gu Jingyan to send it. If I knew that I should have endured him, I just had a fight with him this morning. Can he agree to that? Fine, forget it. The bastard must have done it on purpose. He's so vindictive. <clears throat> Gu Jingyan, you are not even satisfied with 70%? You are too greedy! Hey. Come with me to Jingyang's reception tomorrow. No way. Do you still want to ask me to help you to deliver the stuff? Okay. Then we... Who's calling? Jingyan. See you tomorrow. Jingyan. What did you want to see me about? I made some snacks. I'd like you to try them. Just for that? No, I... I wanted to ask you about a job. In a few days, representatives from Lingyu Company will sign a contract with you. Don't worry about it, okay? Your agent is here. Mr. Ku, it seems that Mrs. Ku heard Miss Yao's voice just now. Should we tell her you signed an agreement with Miss Yao? That's why. Never mind. She's already divorcing me. Why should she care about that? Don't you have anything else to wear? Why do you wear like this? It's new. I think it looks good. Your taste is as poor as ever. Why does a man like you have a smelly mouth? I'm just afraid my mom will ask too many questions when she sees it. Don't think too much. Don't worry, Mr. Gu. I know what I'm doing. What took you so long, brother? I'm starving.
I have to take this call. You guys have it first. Roisin, the herbal medicine I gave you earlier, did you take them on time? Yes, Auntie John saw it. Mom, I've told you, no matter how good your medicine is, she's just like a piece of saline soil. No matter how much fertilizer you put on it, it won't work. Mom, your medicine doesn't seem to help. I've been taking it for over a year. Last time I went for a checkup, the doctor said I'm in good health. What's the point of being in good health? Jin Yan is so strong. If his wife were someone else, he would have had two children in three years. I don't know why he married you. You can't even lay an egg. Well, it's better than having to abort a pregnancy. What nonsense are you talking about? Nothing. It's just that when I went to the hospital last time, I saw a girl who looks just like you having an abortion there. So I just have some sorts. Where's mom and Jing Yang? They watched me taking the medicine. One went out to play cards and one went out shopping. You took it when they told you to. I have not seen you are so obedient in my place. Why? Miss Gu always likes to watch others go to the toilet. Now you know the shame. When you sat on the sink and seduced me, why didn't you know? You... What are you looking at? <laughs> Nothing. It seems that we're now not that close anymore. What are you doing? Chiao Rosheng, is this your trick to play hard to get it? Mr. Gu, I think you're overthinking it. Ouch! Are you a dog? You bit me! Wait for me in the car. What do you mean? It's from a client. From a client? This bag is worth 3 million yuan. Mr. Ku, can't you just be honest? It's so pretty, do you? It's from a client. Should have thrown those crappy heels of yours away a long time ago. Thank you. It's from you. From a client. From a client. Let's divide it up when we get divorced. It will save us a lot of trouble. Chow Washing, are you done? Who are you to ask me for a divorce? And you even want to liquidate the assets. Now you're eating and living, your clothing, food, housing, and car. I gave you everything. If you leave me, you can't even survive. Chow Washing, as long as you apologize to me, you will still be Mrs. Ku. What you did before, I will let it go. I'll give you everything you want. Mr. Gu is so nice, but it's a pity that I'm not that lucky. I can't afford it. You can keep it for your honey. Chow Roshi, I have tolerated you over and over again. Don't go too far. Let's make a bit. Let's bet that after I divorce you, I'd be able to live a wonderful life. Fine.
I would like to see, after you divorce me, how you're going to be poor. Get off. When will we do the paperwork? Tomorrow morning. Early morning. See you at the Civil Affairs Bureau. Mr. Ku, this area is still being renovated. It's not safe for Mrs. Ku to be here alone. Maybe we should drive on. Don't make me repeat it. Ku Jingyan, we finally come this far. Hello, Miss Chow, your mother is in cardiac arrest. We need you to come over right away. Okay, I'll be right there. Miss Chow, please sign it as soon as possible. They are waiting inside. Make sure you pay the fee. Hello, Dad. My mom's getting worse. She needs two hundred thousand yuan for the operation. Can you come to the hospital? You talk to Qingyan first. I have a very important meeting here. I can't leave at this moment. Dad, my mom. She might not be able to recover this time. It may be the last time you see her. The doctor has been saying that six years ago. You are the one who can't give up. Look at her. Do you think she's still alive? Let's talk about it when I'm done. Dad. Hello, Gu Jingyan. My mother. Jia Ruoxing, is that fun? Aren't you getting a divorce? Where are you? Jia Ruoxing. Gu Jingyan, can you lend me some money? Jia Ruoxing. Do you have a sense of shame? What makes you think I'll give it to you? You're the one who wanted a divorce, and now you're playing the disappearing act with me. I'll give you ten minutes. Come to the civil affairs bureau immediately. Otherwise, you will be responsible for the consequences. Don't worry. I will definitely divorce you. Fortunately, there was no danger, Mom. You're all I caught. Don't leave me, Miss Chow. Your mother's surgery hasn't been paid yet. Sorry, I'm going to pay right now. Okay. Hello. I was wondering why hasn't the deposit for the last contract coming yet? Are you removing? I'm sorry. I have changed people. Liquidated damages will be paid about a month after the completion of the process. Why break the contract so suddenly? I don't know about that. Jingyan, thank you for giving me this dubbing opportunity. Ignore me. Yet have a favor of Yao Kexi. Gu Jingyan, you are so cruel. Mom, 
I'm not gonna put up with it this time. Not even Gu Jingye. Jingye, what do you think of it? It's not worse than Er Mu Fan Xin, is it? Really? Why is this woman so familiar? Are you Rimu Fanshing? Yes, I am. I have objections to the matter of breaking the contract. They all say that your company is fair and just. I want to know in what way am I being overcompeted? Are you questioning Ling Yu Company and the Master Shen for being unfair? Yes, I'm not convinced. Well, since you're so confident, choose a piece to match. Jing Yan, Dad. Back then, Mom broke with the family for you. Now, Mom has an accident in the hospital. How can you ignore her? Dad, did you love Mom? Did you love me? No, you never love us. You made me marry someone who didn't love me either. When an accident happened to me, he was standing out there ignoring me, just like you don't love mom. No wonder Ching Chuan refused to change the voice actor. Mr. Gu, what do you think of my strengths? This look. Mr. Gu, you are so impolite. Don't you want to let me add some money? Okay. There are 200,000 yuan. Take it. Mr. Gu, you look down on me. You think money is the biggest? Ling Yu Company is just so-so. You offended Rimu Fanshing. You should take the responsibility. Rimu Fanshing, why do I feel familiar with you? Who are you? How about auntie? She's fine, but without any sign of awake. Rest assured, she's alive. There are 200,000 yuan. Pay her treatment fee with it. No, you earned it hardly. I can't use it. Hey, don't put any pressure on yourself. You can return it to me when you have money. So, so, <laughs> thank you. You are welcome. Don't cry. Don't cry. So, so, I want to move to your house. But you said before the chows has cut my mom's fee. I don't need to consider them now. Besides, I need money. A new TV play of Li Yan is recruiting actresses recently. As long as you have a good acting, even a supporting actress, you can also be high. I will use my relationship to pursue the chance of test for you. So, so, thank you so much. Hey, we are friends. Helping you is helping myself. Take good care of auntie. Okay. Wait for my good news. Okay. Rushing. Are you up yet? My friends come to my home today, but Jin Yang is not here. Come here to help me. Mom. Nurse, I have to go out now. Hope you can take care of my mom.
Okay, it's my duty. Leave her to me. Thank you. Lan, as for the medicine, how about the effect? Any good news? Nothing. That's weird. She's healthy. Maybe it's because she's too tough. If a woman is too tough, she's bad to husband and children. If I am bad to husband, I prefer to make Gu Jingyan bad in sexual function. If so, no woman can accept him. Don't be angry. Miss Chen is unintentional. Mom, Mrs. Bai, Mrs. Chen, we need one person to play mahjong. How about playing with us? I can't play mahjong, which will make you unhappy. The ladies are so good at mahjong, and they play large stake. If I play with them, I will lose a lot of money. Oh, look at what you said. Others may misunderstand that we are bullying you. Hey, Lan, look your daughter-in-law. She doesn't welcome us. Hey, just play. Don't talk nonsense. Okay, as long as you like. Mr. Ku, this is the new plan. How about Mrs. Ku? Your mom invited some friends and asked Mrs. Ku to treat them. Mr. Ku, the two ladies are so cunning. Mrs. Ku is young and innocent. I'm afraid she will be bullied. She went here by herself. Just let her know people's cunning. How many chips you have? Two. Give Mrs. Chen four hundred and sixty thousand yuan. Four hundred, four hundred and sixty thousand yuan. This is robbery money. How can I pay that? Auntie Chen is so lucky today. Why does he come here? Hmm. Just. Want some pocket money? Not enough to buy a coat. Jin Yan, why do you come here today? I haven't seen you for so long. I just passed by and come to see. Oh, it's so early. How about going for two more rounds? Okay, I'm lucky today. Don't wanna go home so early. It's happy to play together. If you win, you get the money. If you are defeated, I'll pay it. Is he so kind? Just stop here. I have sat here for so long. I feel tired. Aunties, check your chips. Check it later. Let us take a break and have a cup of tea. It's better to check now. Or you may count it wrong later. Check. Check now. I will give you money now. Or people think I'm shameless. You are not shameless. The money even can't buy a coat. Okay. I will give you money right now. They come here for pleasure. Why so serious? Mr. Chen is just promoted. If others know he is so rich, they can't explain. Why are you dumbfounded? Waiting for dinner? I'm not mean. Give you half of the money. No. Attend an activity with me tomorrow. It's all yours. Then it's better you take the money. Okay. So, 460,000 yuan. 
You should pay me half. It's my initial capital. Well, you don't have it before I came. Damn it! You capitalist, always threaten me. Okay, I will attend the activity. Remember to give eighty thousand yuan back to me. Hey, Ruxin, come to police station quickly. They say I stole something. Keep calm. I will come soon. Mister Gu, send me to the police station in the north. My friend is in problem. Xiao Xiao, are you fine? Please, man. What happened? Someone said that Bang Xiao Xiao stole something. This is what she stole. It's mine. I live with her. I bring it to her house. She didn't steal it. How do you prove it's yours? Do you have an invoice? The informant has the invoice. Is he Mister Gu Gu Jingyan? Quaintance crime. He's my husband. Hey, what's wrong? Holy shit! Stop pretending. Come in. Explain to policeman. I'm here. Policeman, he's the informant. He's my husband. He is your husband. Why don't you live with them? Explain. He is asking you. We have some conflicts recently. I moved to live with my friend. She's not a thief. You have conflicts and call us to arrest others. You feel funny. Sorry. Holy shit, Gu Jingyan. Ten minutes for you. It's done. I messaged to Mumu. She will come soon. I have to get out for a while. Gu Jingyan, it's our business. It has nothing to do with others. Why did you call the police? Why don't ask me? What has your friend done? What? She just helped me when you kicked me out. I didn't sleep on the street. You felt unhappy, so you want to frame her? No. I don't have any interest in it. These are bad news about Yao Keqing. The IP address is Xiao Xiao's house. So, he did so much. Just want a revenge for his true lover. Feel familiar. The evidence of rumor is enough to put her in jail. Rumor, frame, talking nonsense is rumor, but they are facts. Which is false? You went to hospital when she hurt arm to provide her an intensive care unit. Three years ago, you left me on the wedding ceremony and went with her. You tailed after me. Why do you think I went to hospital? Is to track you, instead of seeing a doctor. Do you have illness, Zhao Ruxing? You are a bad liar. Do you care what illness I got, Gu Xinyan? I know you want to protect Yao Keqing, but if you want to hurt my friend, I will kill you. Open the door. Are you deaf? Open the door. Gu Jingyan, what do you want to do? I tell you, we are still couple. Stay here. If there are any news about our divorce and bad marriage heard by Grandma, do not ever think of divorcing me. You just want her to be the inheritor, so you don't want a divorce, okay? I will help you, but I have a request. Okay, tell me. After you get the award, we divorce. I need nothing but one billion yuan. Tell me your request, not your dream. Jiangsheng Group worth is over one hundred billion yuan. I just ask one billion yuan. It's not hard. Okay, I promise. Deal. For one billion yuan.
I can be patient. Mr. Ku, I have handled it. Mr. Ku, you helped Miss Yao to stop the lawyer's letter. Why didn't you talk with her patiently? Look at her. Do you think she will believe me? Well, Lin Xu, check what happened the day of Yao Kashin's accident. Why did Mrs. Ku was in hospital? You are saying my script passed. Let's celebrate it at the usual place and do some shopping. Wow, congratulations. I will come soon. Hey, it's too early. Where are you going? I will go shopping with my friend. It's so hot outside. What do you want to buy? Come back early. We have an activity tonight. It's on the night. I will come back before dark. Sorry, Rosie. There are some problems with my script. I can't play with you today. I will treat you a meal last time. Sorry. Nothing. Are you graduated from non-university? I feel familiar with you. I'm Tom Singh from class of 2019. You are graduated from here too? What a coincidence. I'm Mo Ming Swan from class of 2017. It's the first time I met an alumni. I heard you before. You are a top student of law school. Oh, be careful! Ah, huh? isn't Si Ching Yan's wife? Why is she here with the man and hugging? Thank you. <laughs> Nothing. It's time for lunch. How about eating with me in this restaurant? I like this restaurant too. I planned to eat here with my friend, but she can't come today. So, please. Your wife want to divorce you because she found a new lover? Where are you? I have ordered you, please. Why didn't you reply me? Reply me! Are you blind? Shower washing. Are you intentional? Gu Jingye has transformed? Why is he so garrulous? He didn't message me before. Even I went out for a whole day. Come back. We can't be late for the activity tonight. You don't want the one billion you want? Always threaten me. Eating now. Come back soon. Lawyers like you charge a lot? I am now a member of my friend's law office, so I don't charge high price. Can you litigate a divorce? Of course. I always win. Gu Jingyan, if you don't give me money, I will divorce by litigation. Lawyer Moore, can you give me a business card? Okay. Thank you. Chow Washing, can you be punctual? As what you said, we should go here on the noon. You. I have something urgent. You go first. Ching Yang, you have the invitation letter. Get inside with your sister in law. Okay. Ask me to take her in? Dream on. Mr. Ku, I've investigated Mrs. Ku's tracks on the day of that accident. 
On the day of the rear end collision, Mrs. Ku was also at the scene. Her car was one of the vehicles involved in the accident. Here is her medical record. She is at the same hospital as Miss Yao. Could this be the reason for her sudden decision to divorce? My stomach hurts. Then you go to the restroom first. I will wait for you here. No. Could you go with me? What if I faint? Hurry up. Gu Jingyang. Gu Jingyang. Gu Jingyang. Gu Jingyang. Stop your track. Gu Jingyang. Gu Jingyang. Gu Jingyang. Open the door. Gu Jingyang, are you crazy? Gu Jingyang. Gu Jingyang, you are going too far. Want me to take you inside? Dream on. You just deserve to stay in the restroom. Gu Jingyang, Gu Jingyang, you are going too far. Help me. Is there anyone there? The hotel has good soundproofing. No one will hear my calls for help. My phone is also broken. Am I going to be stuck here forever? Is anyone there? Anyone there? Help me. Anyone there? Help me. Are you okay? It will be fine. Miss Jo? How did you end up like this? Call an ambulance. She's having an asthma attack. Okay. Thanks for your help. If it weren't you, it could be a disaster. You are our benefactor. We are willing to waive all your expenses at the hotel as a token of gratitude. That's not necessary. But could you help me get into the charity event venue? I am sorry. I can do anything for you except this. I can't make decisions on that matter. Perhaps you can try to persuade me. I can bring a female companion, right? Of course. Hope it won't trouble you. Absolutely not. But you need to get a room for her, as she'll need to freshen up. I happen to have a set of new clothes. Uh, sure, I'll prepare a room for you. Thank you. Mm. I thought that you're not coming. Where's Chao Rosing? No idea. I only saw Jing Yang coming alone. Jing Yan. Come over. Where's Ruo Xing? When I arrived, she says she want to go to the restroom. I don't know where she went. Didn't I remind you to keep an eye on her? I didn't bring her in, but she's a grown person. I can't stop her from leaving. You'd better tell the truth. Did Chao Ruo Xing call him? What's going on? Hey. Ming Xuan is here. I heard he brought a very attractive companion. Have you seen his companion? Don't bother me. Maybe that is his girlfriend. Oh. Chiao Ruoxing is a grown person. She can't be lost. Let's go for Ming Xuan first. Later, I'll take you to find her. I didn't expect Mr. Mo likes the sexy type. I thought he liked the pure-hearted ones. His taste is quite similar to yours. Let's go. Let's go. Why do I feel familiar with this figure? We've waited for you for long, and you finally show up. Let me see your companion. Uh. 
잡고 있나요 내 마음을 Why is it you? Do you know Miss Tang? Tang Xing, let me introduce. They are my childhood friends, Shen Ching Chuan and Gu Jing Yang. He's the only one among us who's married. Hey, where's your wife? My wife. You should ask this lady when she has time to pretend to be my wife. Shall I call you Mrs. Koo or Miss Tang? Ching Yan, what are you talking about? Child washing, please introduce us to your boyfriend. Boyfriend? Gu Jingyang, what nonsense are you talking? Child washing, I want to ask you a question. You've been on my household registration for three years. Is your last name Tang? We just met today. Miss Chom have a cautious attitude towards strangers, so she used a fake name. <laughs> it was just a misunderstanding. Let me reintroduce. This is our childhood friend Mo Ming Xuan. One billion yuan. Mr. Mo, thank you for today. Just a small favor. I just got this from the waiter. Be careful not to get infected. No need. I'll take care of my own wife. Ming Xuan, dance with me. Where did you go? Why did you change your dressing? Why don't you ask your dear sister? I wanted to hear it from you. If I tell you that Gu Jingyang locked me in the restaurant, do you believe that? How did you get out? I climbed out. Are you stupid? Don't you know that there is an emergency call button? Why didn't you press it? Yeah, how smart you are. Jing Yan? Jing Yan? Jing Yan? Mr. Gu, Mrs. Gu, what a coincidence. How did you get here? Before coming, didn't he answer a call and rush out without stopping? Why does he pretend to be innocent and straightforward guy? I'm the guest performer for the event here today. Mrs. Gu, the one here is excellent. Would you like to try it? Sorry, I don't drink alcohol. No alcohol? Mrs. Gu, are you pregnant? Chao Ruoxing. It must be uncomfortable to be stepped on. When it is the right timing, we will announce it. Sometimes announcing in advance might not be auspicious. Miss Yao, for an unmarried woman, you seem to know a lot about pregnancy. So have you given birth to a baby? I'm just a casual chatting. Why is she so serious? Hey, Jingyan. Your wife has really outstanding proportions. She really resembles the star Rimu Fanxing. They have similar figures, but Rimu Fanxing is not as beautiful as your wife. Why are there only you guys? Where's Jing Yang? She went to answer a call. Mr. Gu, Mr. Shen, this is... Why are you here? Ah, let me reintroduce. This is our childhood friend, Mo Ming Xuan. Why didn't I know you can't drink? So it is Mr. Mo. Nice to meet you. Ah, 
If you don't rely on a man, you can't live, right? I don't. Don't deny. Look at you, practically sticking to him. You're shameless. Jin Yang usually remains indifferent and arrogant, but he has no reaction. It seems Yao Kexin is extraordinary in his eyes. Jin Yang, you pushed me for this bitch. Ah, Jin Chuan, do me a favor. Take her back. Gu Jingyan, you went away in public with another woman. What do you think of me? Am I still your wife? I'll take you back. If Gu Jingyan asks you to do so, there is no need. He should take back his wife in person. It's too late. It's not safe for you to be alone outside. Yeah, Jingyan is happily taking care of Yao Kexin now. He probably forgot that he has a wife living at the event venue. Can you take me to a place? Mr. Gu, I've checked. Mrs. Q is not at the event. Sorry, the subscriber you dialed is power off. Hello. Hello, sir. Is Mrs. Q back? Mrs. Q, wasn't she supposed to attend the event with you? If she comes back home, please inform me immediately. Where did you go, Chao Ruoxing? Is Chao Ruoxing there with you? Mr. Gu, Chao Ruoxing is your wife. You should know better than me. Don't ask me. I'm an outsider. Are you sure she didn't go to your home? No. If you don't believe me, come and see for yourself. Mr. Gu, where can we find her? Just go home. Will Jing Yan come to my house? No, he's busy taking care of his true love. He has no time to bother with me. Who are seeing? It's the audition. You can finally go for an audition. You seem happier than me. It's just an audition, not getting a role. Where are we going? In two days at the Venus Hotel. Then I have to go back. And get some clothes tomorrow. Gu Jingyan hasn't gotten up yet. Wait, why should I be afraid of him? Why do you walk so quietly? Where did you go last night? At a friend's home. You didn't come home. Why didn't you tell me? I was worried that Mr. Gu was too busy. After all, you didn't even have time to say goodbye to me yesterday. Yao Kachen is injured. Did she die? Why do you speak like that? I'm not serious. Why are you so nervous? She won't die because of my words. Hello. Have a good rest. Scumbag! Even called Yao Kexin in such early morning. You ignore me. Since you are back, tidy up the house. I have to go to work. What do you come back for, Mom? Why are you here? I heard that you and Jin Yan admitted the pregnancy at the party yesterday. Why did you hide it from me? No, I'm not pregnant. Someone spread rumors. Later, 
you go to the hospital with me and have a check. Even if you're not pregnant, having a check is good for you. Oh, by the way, last night, Jin Yan locked Jin Yang in the bathroom all night. Do you know what happened? How could Jin Yang provoke him? Last night, Jin Yang was locked in the bathroom all night? You don't know about it? Hey, I am not sure about the details. Jin Yang came back crying and said that Jin Yan just let her go this morning. I asked her what happened, but she refused to answer me. Jin Yan is playing take for tat? Am I so easy to please? Pay. Mom, please wait here. The examinations are in the building across the street. I will come back to you after I finish. Okay, then you go there yourself. Did you have a surgery before? Yes, I did that after a car accident a few years ago. Any problem? Surgery after a car accident? Let's see what your attending doctor says about it. Why does it take so long? Have you finished the examinations? Yes, it's all done. I'm on my way back. Wait a moment. Can you please hurry? Her condition just stabilized. By one exactly the same for her. Why did Gu Jingyan come out of the inpatient department? Yao Kexing, I thought she was fine. Chao Ruoxing. Why is he everywhere? I can't even hide. Jia Ruoxing. What are you doing here? Don't worry, I'm not bored enough to stalk you. Your mother brought me here for a checkup, Mr. Gu. You must be busy. I will go first. Let go of me! Do you really have to talk to me like this? Gu Jingyan, you came to the hospital early in the morning. You are here to see the one you love, aren't you? Don't waste your time with me. Let go of me! Jia Ruoxing, are you a dog? You are the dog, I warn you. We only have a contractual relationship. You... You want to speak louder? Are you not afraid that mom will hear that? I could hear you arguing from afar. Here is a hospital. Can't you behave yourself? Oh no, what happened to you, Jian? You bit him? I didn't mean to. What? You didn't do it on purpose. But it's serious. This is outside with so many people. If it was at home where no one is around, wouldn't you be even more unrestrained? It's okay, mom. We're just fooling around. It's nothing serious. You can't be so unruly. Even if you are just falling, I don't care what you used to be. I don't care what you were like at home. Didn't your mom tell you? You are now the daughter-in-law of the goose. Your lack of manners. What will outsiders think of our goose? I'm sorry, mom. It won't happen again. All right, all right, all right. By the way, mom, didn't you come here two months ago? How come you're back again today? Just a routine catch-up. Mrs. Wong's son. He got married last year, and his wife has already given birth a baby, and you two have been married for three years. Do you know what outsiders are saying about our family? Mom, this isn't something we can have just because we say so. Please, don't worry about it. All right, it's none of my business. From now on, both of you handle your own stuff, so I won't bother and get upset. Ask your assistant to take you. I'm leaving first. Xiao Ruoxing, do you really need to talk to me like this? Who was I speaking for just now? Gu Jingyan, I'm already being quite considerate. We are about to divorce, yet I still have to play act with your family and let your mother use faceless charges to humiliate me. You got bitten. There's someone who cares for you, someone who vents for you. What about me? When I was in the hospital, I couldn't even reach you. You know, when I was in the hospital, I was chased by nurses asking about when my family arrived. Do you have any ideas how I felt? Why didn't you call me? What's the difference does it make? Even if I told you, would you leave Yao Keqing alone? Gu 
Good. That means I made the right decision. As for the divorce, Mister Gu, please put it on the agenda as soon as possible. This burden of not being able to have children, I do not wish to bear it for you anymore. Don't be nervous. After all, it's Li Yan's drama. The competition will certainly be fiercer than usual. Just treat it as your university class assignment and give a steady performance. I will try my best. First up, Ling Qingqing. Second, Wang Xiaoli. Third, Liu Tingting. Huh? Why are you still here? The audition is over. Is it over? What's going on? We haven't been called yet. How would I know? I called according to the information provided. No, you. Forget it. There is useless talking with her. My information must have been removed by someone. What shall we do then? We managed to get in here. I've done what you asked me to do. I've got an idea. What's that? Hello, room service. So there is such an approach. Director Lee, I'm Chao Ruxing, number seventeen, an auditioning actor. Please give me a chance to audition. There is no information about you in the resume sent here. Do you have any representative forks? My name is Chao Ruxin. I'm 25 years old, a 2019 graduate from Nan University's acting department. I don't have any representative works. You're quite a young girl. Stop bragging. Without even any acting experience. Who gave you this courage? I'm betting on Director Lee's seriousness in casting. Mm. Why did he leave? He won't kick me out, will he? I can give you this opportunity, but you, you only have five minutes. Here's the script. Thank you. That's the end of my performance. Uh, try to act another one. Uh, okay, that's it. Give me your contact information and I will let you know if there's any news. Okay. What took you so long? If you don't come out, I'm going to call the police. What happened? Say something. Whoa! You went to audition for the fourth female lead? Lian even let you audition for the third female, the highest ranking imperial concubine. This is a very important role. That's great, that's great!
By the way, I saw another man in the room just now. Leon went in halfway and then came out saying he was willing to give me this chance. Leon's personality is quite quirky. There must be an important figure involved to make him concede. Forget it. Let's go and celebrate with a good meal. Let's go, let's go. I will go and wait for you in the car first. When did you start? What kind of tone is that? My mom in critical condition that you don't have time to visit her, yet you had time to fool around with other women. What kind of attitude is this? If it weren't for the money I spent to keep your mother alive, she would have died long ago. Lying in bed for six years, neither dead nor alive. Do you want me to take care of a vegetative person for the rest of my life? I'm busy. I need to go. If you have time, you should spend more time pleasing Ching Yan. There are two boxes of New Zealand oysters in the trunk of my car. Bring them to Ching Yan. Replenish him. What's your dad getting you to deliver now to please the goose? Oyster, it's about time to replenish Gu Jingyan. Stop messing around. Let's get down to business. Help me look up that woman. I always feel like I've seen her somewhere before. You've been drinking tea here for an hour after work. What happened? Did you quarrel with Chao Ruo Xing again? Can I enjoy the good tea at your company? Okay, okay. Enjoy it. <laughs> hey. Hello, Roshing. What's up? No, nothing much. I have a box of New Zealand oyster here. I will leave it at your company's front desk later. Remember to take it back. <sighs> New Zealand oysters, eh? That's good stuff. It's difficult to get though. Jing Yan likes it. Roshing, just take it back for Jing Yan. It's perfect for enhancing your relationship. As for Gu Jing Yan's problem, oyster won't work. He probably needs to see a doctor. <laughs> All right, all right. Thank you, Roshin. What did you do for her to treat you like this? <laughs> uh, fine. Hello. Is this Gu Jing Yan? Yes. What's up? I'm a doctor from the male reproductive hospital. You scheduled a phone consultation. May I ask which type of reproductive disorder you have? <sighs> Fuck you. Why is he here? It's in the trunk. Get it yourself. I'm not going down there. Uh, Roshin, I want you to do me a favor. What's up? There's a bachelor party today. I've been single for so long. I want to find a girlfriend. You and Ching Yan can help me check her out. I'm not a good judge of character. Roshin, please don't push me away. What are you doing? Why are you here? Roshin, let's go. It's too late. Ha! Oh, I'll go there first. Play together later. Got a text from Grandma. She said you sent a box of oysters? Mm-hmm. Tao Shushan gave me two boxes. Don't make a fuss over this useless place. Since Jing Chuan doesn't like this. It's my business to send them. Whether Mr. Shen likes it or not is his business. It doesn't matter if he throws them away. Xiao Ruoxing, are you messing with me on purpose? President Ku, you think too much. Don't call me President Ku. Sounds weird. Then what should I call you? Mr. Gu, Gu Jingyan. What you called me before? Call me the same way now. When I used to call you that, you got so annoyed. Now that we are getting divorced, but you are so obsessed with that name. How can a twisted melon be sweeter? Sweet or not, I don't know. Why don't you try calling me one? Stupid. I'm going to the bathroom. Gu Jingyan, this asshole, he's got a split personality, right?
Hello, Yeru. Why are you calling me? I have an anime character to dub. Would you like to give it a try? There hasn't been any news yet from Director Lee's audition. I guess there won't be a chance. Okay, I will go. I will send you the place and time later. Where do you want to go? Come back here. You send her. Yes, sir. Why does she go so long? Help me! Help me! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my wife is drunk. I don't know him! Shut up! Shut the fuck up! I'll stab you to death! Let her go! Rosie, you're finally awake. You scared me to death. Where is Gu Jingyan? I didn't see him. There is a person sure named Shen. Called me on your cell phone. I was in the hospital. Gu Jingyan didn't even look for me. Oh, that's right. Yesterday, when I rushed over downstairs at the Chow's, I saw the woman who you asked me to check out. She's an employee of Chow's. Maybe you're right. I've sent someone to check it out. Wait for my news. Is Ye Ru looking for you to audition? Mm-hmm. She's always taken care of me before. Do her a favor. You go home first. I'll be fine on my own. I gotta go. Take care of yourself. Call me if you need anything. Yes, I'm too busy. Ermu Fanxi, let me introduce you. This is my cousin, Li Yan. He's a director. Hello, Mr. Li. I'm Chao Ruxin. Have a seat. Let's chat while eating. Leanne, she's my friend. She's not only good at dubbing, she's also a top-notch actress. If there's another suitable role, you can consider her. I'm looking for actress. Most of them are open casting. Anyone who's suitable can audition. But if you think the audition is just a joke... There's no need to waste everyone's time. You guys eat first. I'm going to the bathroom. Mr. Lee, what did you mean by what you said at the dinner table? Miss Chow, you know it very well. Why are you asking me? What do I know? You have to make it clear. How do I make fun of people? This is you, isn't it? I thought I was rejected. I didn't realize that someone was playing tricks on me. Mr. Lee, that's not me. This is the right one. And I've never received a call from you. This batch of roles has already been cast with other actors. Why don't you leave a personal contact? I'll call you when I have suitable one. Yes. Make a note of it. Hey. Roshing, where have you been so early in the morning? Come and take a look at Jing Yan. What happened to Gu Jing Yan? Last night, Gu Jing Yan tried to save you. He was beaten up by those two gangsters. He's still in intensive care. Okay, I'll be right there. What's going on? Gu Jing Yan, he must be okay. What about my brother? I'm not sure. I just got here. You just got here? So Jin Yan was in the hospital last night alone? Where were you? He didn't come back. Don't you make a phone call? When the child is sucking blood, you think of my brother. Where were you when the accident happened? Mrs. Ku, this is not a time for accountability. We need to see how he is. Let's go and see Jin Yan first.
What are you doing? You're making a lot of noise. We're family members of patient 709. How is he? You're too late. He's gone. He's gone? Mom, mom. What do you mean? He passed away just 10 minutes ago. If you had come later, we would have to take him to the morgue. He's a good person. How can he just die? It's not true. What are you doing? Ah, oh, Jin Yan. Jin Yan, you're okay. You scared me to death. It's okay. So you are Mr. Gu's family. Mr. Gu moved from 709 to 704 this morning. The hospital hasn't had a chance to enter it in the system yet. I'm sorry. Why are you standing there? Come here. Are you waiting for me to die? What a shame. He's not even dead yet and you're already crying. <sighs> Rushing is also concerned. She thought something bad happened to you. She is scared out of her wits. I'm fine. It's just a small injury. I'll be out of the hospital soon. You guys go home first. Great. Jin Yan is alright. Mrs. Ku, not long ago I asked Ruo Xing to give you the white truffle. Have you tried? How was it? White truffle? I've never seen that. It's impossible. I handed it to Ruo Xing and asked her to give it to you. What do you mean? Do you mean my mother denied receiving it, right? Uh, no, no. Actually, you don't need to focus on me. Jin Yan has his idea for anything about company. Time to take medicine. How can I take it by myself with such an injured hand? Feed me. For the sake of your injury because of me. Open your mouth. Do you want to murder me? You have the other hand to do it yourself, but ask me on purpose. Dad, I thought you left first. I bought some Ching Yan's favorite tea downstairs for Ching Yan. Roshin, come on. I want to talk to you for a second. I told you to send the truffles. Did you do that? I did. You are lying. Zhong Meilan did not receive anything. Do you think you are fledged now? Here to make your own decision? Don't forget who married you to the goose. I'm not lying. You're quivering. Wu Jin is still in the ward. Don't you dare hit me. You've become disobedient. Dare to threaten your father? How dare you say you are my father? When you betray me and my mom, when you had an affair with other women, didn't you remember you are my father? Sao oh, Xuxian, I'm sure to find out when you began to have an affair with that woman. What did the police say? They quibbled at first. When surveillance video was presented, they confessed. They insisted on the crime of rape, but refused to refill the chief culprit. Go and investigate. Oh. Alright. What were you talking about? What's wrong with your face? Nothing. Chao Shusheng did it, right? Your mother didn't receive the right truffle. If you're busy, you can refuse to send it. You think I did it? Whether you didn't send it or forgot it. Anyway, do not easily make promises that you cannot keep. Lin Chu, did you deliver the white truffles I asked you to? Yes. Mrs. Ku was out then. The maid took it. Hello, it's me. Master, Mrs. and Miss Ku aren't at home. Have you ever received white troubles? How come my mom said she it, didn't see them? It's Miss Ku. She threw them away. Who's on the phone? It's just two boxes of white truffles. 
Do you really have to make a call to Blaine? Mom, I just want to figure out what's going on. Then what? Call the police? She's not good at anything, but she's good at snitching. Take the time to discipline your wife. She is married into our family, but always stands against us. Never mind. I never wanted to send them. That was a relief for me. Still hurt? Not anymore. Mr. Ku, Mrs. Ku, formalities are done. We can leave. Hey, doctor said the wound couldn't get wet. Okay, you help me. That's not appropriate. Why not? You've seen me naked. It's different now. Come on, I got hurt because of you. Won't you do something for me? Can you be careful? What do you want? I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Hello? This is Liam. Director Lee. We have a role to audition for. Would you like to try? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Yeah! Great! Did you win the lottery? Why are you so excited? Are you feeling shy right now? Last night you made the first move. That was an accident. Suppressing urges is hard for adults. All right. Get up for breakfast. I'll be waiting for you. I won't eat. You eat alone. I need to go out later. What's wrong with Gu Jinyan? Why is he so nice today? He didn't even ask where I am going. Excuse me? Is directly here? He invited me for an audition. Audition? We have confirmed it at the casting. No more auditions. Who's pulling the strings here? We are just asking for direction. You can tell us if you like. Or just shut up. With your mouth full of shit. Go flush your shit hole. You. Get out of here. You. What's going on? Why are you fighting? Directly, where did you find this shit? She's so rude. I've worked with many actors. None of them are as arrogant as she. A child or shake. Get five minutes to go through the script and start your performance. Oh, this is the part of the queen. I'm ready. <clears throat> My acting is over. What's your opinion? The acting is good, but she looks too young to hold the part. You heard her line. She thinks she's too young. Huh? She has no works, and this role has about as much drama as the female lead. Giving a Rocky such an important part is a bit risky. Do you have a better candidate? Yao Cushing, I worked with her. She has certain fan base and good acting skills. And she is quite interesting about this role. There she is, on Yao Cushing's side. Hold on. Yao Cushing should be three months pregnant. How can she take this exhausting job? 
Gu Jingyong won't allow it. Yao Kishin of Washer Shows. Director Li, if you agree, I will call her over right now. <laughs> her acting is careful, but lacks emotion. Director, if you've made up your mind, why do you call us here? If I don't gather you here and watch you sign the agreement, how can I make sure that no one will use his power to replace the actor I choose? Troll is hers. If you have any objection, talk directly with the boss. Rushing. This is a script. You should run through it. This character is vital to the show. I see. I'm glad to be a part of the team. Hmm. Good. Hello, Kushin. Chao Ruxin got the role. What did you say? You said Chao Ruxin had been screened. How could she return? Director Li casts her as the queen. What about me? Kushin, Mr. Gu will certainly help you. Anyway, I must get this part in Li Yan's show. Gu Jingyan can replace Yu Mu Fanxing last time. This time, he can and will do it for me. Hello. Jingyan, do you want to make Chao Shushan become a shareholder of Xinchuang Technology because of Chao watching? The more he infests, the more he cares. <laughs> That's what I mean. Oh, right. There's a jewelry exhibition tomorrow. I remember the child washing likes jewelry. Who are you calling? Oh, it's Sun Qingchuan. Here's the thing. There's a jewelry exhibition tomorrow. Do you want to go? No, your injury hasn't recovered. Didn't you know? My injury has been recovered last night. You're boring. Huh? Why did you stand behind me so quietly? You also turned your head to me all of a sudden. You are talking nonsense. I don't have clothes to wear now. What should I wear? What's this? Don't wear that trash. It's humiliating. Put it on quickly. We can't be late. Chen Yan, you don't like this kind of occasion, and your injury hasn't recovered. Why did you go out? Mom, Chen Yan said he is too boring at home, and insists on going out. I couldn't resist him. Now that you are here, take care of Chen Yan. I want to go to the bathroom. You walk around first. Hey, Dad, look, how is this bracelet? Hmm, it's pretty. Take it if you like it. But one million yuan is too expensive. Your project is in need of money. I can't help it, so I'm not gonna trouble you. Mr. Cho, your daughter is so thoughtful. Buy her if she likes it. It's not that expensive. Parents should raise daughters richly. Dad, are you gonna buy it? Ruxin, why are you here? Dad, didn't you say you're financially stretched? You found excuses for mom's surgery fee of 200,000 yuan, but you can buy a bracelet for Chao Siyao of 1 million yuan. Dad, 1 million yuan is too expensive. I don't want it. Ask Ruoxing to buy it for you. For the goose, 1 million yuan just worth a couple of meals. Now that the Chiaos has adopted you and earned fame and money by you, they should treat you better. Ruoxing always treats me well. This adopted daughter of the Chaos is the influencer named Yao, right? So is Chao Ruoxing her sister, who has always been bullying her? Chao Shushen, 
You know that these are not true, but you just watch these people slander me and doesn't say a word for me. I can't believe Chao Ruoxing is this kind of person. Oh, why does Gu Jingye hate her so much? It has a reason. I heard that back then it's Chao Xiao who should marry Mr. Ku. But on the day of their blind date, Chao Xiao got sick suddenly. Then she seduced Mr. Ku successfully by her alluring face. Chao Ruoxing, does it feel good? Being locked down upon by people like this. If I remember correctly, you are only 22 years old now. So when we got married, you were under age. Sorry, I am not a pedophile. How did this rumor get out? It sounds so cool that I didn't expect people to really believe it. Just some kids made it for fun. Jingyan, don't take it seriously. I heard that the Chiaos adopted Xiao and bought a car not long ago. It's two million yuan. Huh? When you two got married, what did he give you? It's a dowry. A small KN, right? How much is it? It's like 890,000 yuan. Why did they know the house so well? Mrs. Chen, you must misunderstand me. When Roshin got married, I was financially stretched, so the dowry was slander. The new car that Xiao got was mine. I gave her the old one. Since you are well off now, how about compensating your daughter with a new dowry? Hey, I think the bracelet is good. Today so many people are here, they can be witness. It's a good timing. Are you two doing a double act? This bracelet is great. It matches you well. How about I buy it for you? Thank you, Dad. You like diamonds, don't you? Let's go there and have a look. Thanks. It's that woman again. Thank you for helping me just now. I got your present. Is it pretty? Hmm. I believe your taste needs improvement. Give me if you don't like it. I can give it to Shen Qingchuan or Mo Mingxuan. This present is for me. How can you give it to another man? He doesn't like it, but occupies it. He must have a split personality. Why do you take contraceptive pills? What if I get pregnant? It's impossible. Why are you so sure? Because it's your safe period. Yeah, Gu Jingyan doesn't allow me to have his kid. No matter how much he's obsessed with me, he remembers doing it in safe period. I don't want to be pregnant. When we divorce, and I have to go to hospital. If you're really pregnant, we can have the baby. I didn't force you. Gu Jingyan, if I really get pregnant, I won't let him come to this world. I don't want my baby to share father's love with others. Especially with Yao Kexing's kid. <laughs> Fine. I also don't want to have a burden when we divorce. He's won the split. Did you eat dinner? How's your wand? Did you blind it up again? There's no other people here. Mrs. Ku, you don't have to act. If you get better and go to work early, you can take charge of the company soon. Then I can also get divorced early. It's not acting. Chao Ruoxing, can you not be so selfish? Why do you always think about yourself? Yeah, 
he has another woman who cares about him. Miss Chow, your mother heard a specific Peking opera. We have a reaction. Which Peking opera? Let me see. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't move. I will take care of it. I'm sorry. Two hundred tapes. Only these six tapes are labeled with numbers, and they are so hidden. They were marked before Mom's accident. There must be something. Mrs. Ku, Mrs. Ku has a high fever, thirty-nine point eight degrees centigrade. Do you have any antipyretics? Medicine won't work. Send him to the hospital. I can't do anything if Mr. Ku won't go. The fever must be caused by the inflammation of the wound. There should be fever-reducing pills. He has to go to the hospital. Mr. Ku. Take the medicine first. Mrs. Gu said if the fever doesn't go down after taking the medicine, you'll have to go to the hospital. Who told you to call her? What else did she say? Oh, she... she said you should take your medicine. She's worried. I see. Get out. What? Get out. Ah, uh, okay. I said get out. We're not divorced yet. Where do you want me to go? What are you doing here? Ling Shu said you have a fever. I come to see if it's serious. If you are, I will lie to you. Maybe I can get a few more hundred million yuan. You are dreaming. You can still curse me. I guess you're okay. You don't move. <laughs> Uh. Don't throw up. Drink some water. Swallow it. Why are you here? Rosine, I've been notified. Your role has been changed. Why is that? I heard it's the big investor of the movie. He insisted on changing it. Li Yan can't afford to offend him. So you have to suffer. It's that investor again. Xiao Xiao, do you know who took my place? I've asked around. The crew wants to keep it a secret. I don't know who's so tough. I will keep an eye out for you. I'd like to see who did this. But it's okay. I have good news for you. Lian knows it's not fair for you. So in order to compensate you, he's recommending you to act in the law. But it's zero pay. Are you willing to act? Okay. It's a good news. I know the writer director of the law. He's very talented. It's just a short video, but it's got a wide audience. For one thing, I need a platform right now. Secondly. To serve my country, it's my honor. I think so. Maybe you will become famous for it. Xin, you are really smart. Li Yan asks you to sign the contract. I know. 
Gu Jingyan signed a contract with me. No matter what resources I need, he will take care of it for me. Even the role of Chao Ruoxin, she has to give it up for me. After all, he needs me. Mr. Ku, there are some new cakes from Sishan Lane. Do you want to order them for Mrs. Ku? Go ahead. Remember, she doesn't like sweets a lot. Yes. And the potted plant store, if they have any new potted plants, bring her a couple of trays. <laughs> yes. Chao Ruo Shen is really something. She's acted as a serial killer, and she even made a cameo as a pseudo maiden. It's hot. Sign her to me. I promise I'll make her a superstar in three years. No, two years. Well, signing fee one billion yuan. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go and rob a bank? The woman you asked me to look into, I found her. Her name is Bai Hui. She's your father's secretary. So it's her. Before my mom's accident, I met her. She came out of my house with my dad. I suspect that this bitch and Chao Xuxin have had a relationship for a long time. That's right. A few days ago, I came from my mom's house. I found this. It really looks like a code. Do you have a safe or something? No. Wait, I remembered something. Here it is, something my mom asked you to keep after your mom's accident. I wanted to give this to your father, but every time I called, he would get very impatient. When I mentioned your mom, I stopped talking about it. Can I take it with me? Of course you can. It belonged to your mom. Hey, what are you doing? I was thinking, how do I open it? Let me tell you something. This kind of safe usually has two locks. If you force open the first one, then the second one will... What about... Sewing? Did you steal this? It's mine, okay? But you don't know the code. I've forgotten it. The code, the code must, must be, be here. here. But, but what's, what's the, the sequence? sequence? Six, Six digits. digits. We, can we can try them one by one. one. That's enough. Get some rest. There's an event tomorrow. What event? Your performance in the law is so good. Sam Ching Chuan is throwing you a banquet to celebrate. Is he trying to get me into his company? Hey, what took you so long? Come on, Mrs. Ku, have a seat, have a seat. Mr. Ku, Mrs. Ku, I didn't expect Dr. Zhao to be here either. Do you know her? Not really. When I accompanied a friend for a catch-up before, it was Dr. Zhao who treated us. Really? My mom loves to listen to the drama of Lan Xi. It's just too bad that Lan Xi retired early. My uncle worked too hard when he was young. Now that he's older, his body can't take it. So for the sake of his house, he stopped performing on stage. All right. Before, Lan Xi used to perform in more than 10 shows a day, each one packed with a full audience. Oh, Lan Xi must have performed over 10,000 shows, right? No, it's 9,743 shows in total. 9,743. I have to excuse myself for a moment. Hey. Hey. Are these really the numbers? What about six and five? Could they also be related to line C? June 5th. It's indeed Lancy's birthday, so the password should be either 659743 or 974365. Hey, what's wrong? What happened? Ah, nothing. Uh, I'm just worried that it's going to rain outside today, so I'm afraid my flowers will get ruined. I need to go back to check on them. Just because of that? Yeah. All right, then I'll accompany you. No need, no need. I can go back on my own. Uh, hey! Six five nine seven four three. It's wrong. Could it be nine seven four 
three, six. These are all company stock agreements. Such property division is obviously unreasonable. According to Chao Xuxian's temper, how could he possibly sign it? It seems that Chao Xuxian has long been hooked up with Bai Hui. Chao Xiao is his illegitimate daughter. This is evidence that Chao Xuxian evaded taxes and misappropriated public funds. The divorce agreement has been signed with only the final procedure remaining at this moment. Mom had an accident. Was it really just a coincidence? Was the car accident related to Chao Xuxian? Hey. Could you come and pick up Jingyan? He and Qingchuan drank too much. I had some too, so it's not convenient for me to drive him. Okay, I will come over soon. What are you doing? Chao Ruxin, don't get me wrong, he drank too much. Even if nothing happened, it's enough to make this bitch misunderstand. He drank too much and you also drank too much. You have no sense of propriety. Chao Ruxin, you did hit me? What's wrong? Is your elder sister, is there a problem with teaching a younger sister who has no sense of propriety? You'd better leave now. Hey! Get up! It's uncomfortable to lie like this. Gu Jingyan, who am I? Mm, uh, That's fine. You mock your words. If you dare to get yourself drunk again, don't come back. Am I your servant? I'm always tidying up after you every day. You always make me so irritable. Always talk about divorcing me and ignore me. I won't even bother with you anymore. Why are you still getting irritable? <sighs> I really owe you in the last life. This man looks sick but so heavy. I'm worn out. Chao Siyao. You are clearly a bastard. You still live off queer fear, spreading rumors, embezzling donations, someone who relies on a persona to gain fame. If that persona were to collapse, what would happen? Are you going out? Yeah, there's an event at Nan University this afternoon. I need to attend. A seminar. Chao Siyao. Can you take me? Nan University is my alma mater, and I also want to go back and have a look. Well, can you take me, dear? All right, ten minutes to change clothes. I'll be right, dear. I'm going to the restroom.
Okay. Charasi, how does it feel to watch me give a speech on stage at your alma mater? This is the only way you can appear at Nye University. After all, even if you study for 10 years, you might not necessarily pass the entrance exam. I couldn't even pass it, and you did. So what? Right now, aren't you still confined in a cage? What's there to be proud of? It seems like I didn't hit you hard enough yesterday. How dare you be arrogant in front of me now? In this kind of situation today, do you dare to hit me? The Zhangsheng group just needs a spokesperson. But this spokesperson doesn't have to be you, don't you think? Chao Siyang, I hope you can still be so arrogant later. My honorific leaders, fellow students, good afternoon. I'm the presenter for the Tianjiao project of the Zhangsheng group, Chao Siyang. When I was too young to remember, I was adopted at the entrance of the Welfare Institute. My dad took me in. Chao Xiao is Chao Xuxian's illegitimate daughter? Isn't Chao Xuxian the foster father? He's actually Chao Xiao's biological father. It's written here. The secretary of Chao Xuxian had an affair with him and gave birth to Chao Xiao to cover up the scandal. She was sent to the Welfare Institute. Chao Xuxian used this accident to ask his wife to raise Chao Xiao. How dare she claim that she achieved everything through her own effects? Oh, this person is simply full of lies with a completely corrupt character. You've ruined me! Get out of non-university! Get, Get out. out! Get out of non-university! We can shift the public's perspective. The attention of the public is now focused on the Chows. If Mrs. Chow brings in Chow Xiao, it may decrease the attention on the Zhang Sheng group. It is, after all, a top 500 global company. Is it appropriate to shift the blame onto a woman? This matter is related to the interest of all shareholders. If it is not handled properly, the loss would be even worse. These people care nothing about my life. Even if I die, I will take Chao Ruxin down with me. Mrs. President, I know who did this. Chao Ruxin. Chao Ruxin did it. Chao Ruxin and Mr. Gu have long been having problems in their marriage. If Zhang Sheng Group's reputation is damaged, Mr. Gu will definitely bear the blame. Nonsense. Mr. Gu, whether it's true or false, we will know it by checking the surveillance cameras. If it's found to be an inside job for the goose, I will not forgive it. Mr. Gu, I just received the news that since Zhao Xiao went in, no one has entered. It's not possible! It's... Get out of here! Apologize and make a statement as it should be. Make this issue properly addressed. Chao Xuxian, how was the performance today? Is this really done by you? What benefit do you gain from doing this? Jiang Sheng group is implicated. Do you think you can get rid of it? I've never thought of getting rid of it. From the moment I knew you wanted to give up treatment for my mom. From the moment I knew about the disgusting things you did. I've already prepared for the worst. What do you want? I'm gonna give you two choices. Either you leave on your own or you publicly clarify the situation. You were seduced by that woman. And that's how Chao Xiao was born. You divorce my mom and split the assets. You choose one. Protect yourself or protect your precious daughter. Roshing, I love your mom. If she didn't seduce me, how could I cheat on your mom? Well, I need to do something. I can't just sit still. Chao Xuxian, you're really selfish. Get it divorced according to the agreement, or you just wait for the court summons. How is the Junction Group? Why are you doing this? What did I do? You think you can slip away unnoticed and get rid of it by changing the records? Why didn't you tell me about this kind of thing? Tell you? If I told you, would you help me? You never helped me! When I got into a car accident and was hospitalized, there wasn't even a family member to sign for me. When Gu Qingyang locked me in the bathroom, where were you? Yeah, that's right. I'm just your trophy wife. 
If you like me, you will play with me. If you don't, you will just toss me aside. All right. Why do I need to trade the cannery so well? As long as I'm willing to spend money, I can keep as many cannerys as I want. Why do I need to put so much effort into an ungrateful? I hope Mr. Gu have the same idea. I also want to divorce sooner and set myself free. Okay. It was you who initiated the divorce. Don't regret it. When I come back from my business trip, we will get divorced. Did you call Yoko Shin? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Uncle Gu, you are here. Yes, I am. I will take you to Dongyang City in a while. Okay. You won't take me for surgery again, will you? This is the last time. Okay. I have promised your father to take good care of you, my good girl. Miss Chao, please come to the hospital quickly. A group of people just arrived. They removed your mother's ventilator. By the dance, it is perfectly justified. No matter who you tell, it's no use. What are you doing? Who are you? Who allows you to cause trouble here, Miss Chow? Your mom owed us a sum of money before. Since you are her daughter, you have to pay this money. Seventy notes in total, plus interest. Four million three hundred thousand yuan. You have to clear the debt all at once. This isn't my mother's signature. Take a hike. Go away. What? It is visionary word. It is not depend on you. If you don't pay this money today. Huh. We guys can't guarantee that your mother will stay in good condition. How dare you, you bunch of jerks! What do you want to do? Let her go. Why are you here? I came to the hospital with Ching Chuan for a checkup and saw you. Are you okay? You bunch of jerks! How dare you make trouble here? Do you want to die? We don't want trouble either. We just make a living. Pay your debts. Here's the right downs. How about taking this IOUs for handwriting analysis? I happen to know an expert in handwriting analysis. Whether it's true or false will be clear at a glance. She's been lying down for years. Where did the handwriting come from? How can it be analyzed? Who says handwriting analysis can only be done when the person is awake? I have my mother's handwriting right here. Ah, oh, you guys just wait. Let's go. Mom, the patient is not well. She needs immediate rescue. Miss Chow, please settle the bill first. Okay. Is it done? Yes. After we removed the ventilator for so long, not to mention today, it's uncertain if she can make it through the night. Mrs. Chow, how about the final payment? As long as things are settled, I won't mistreat you. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Miss Chow, your card has been frozen. Frozen? Use this one. Okay, Miss Chow. This card has also been blocked. Is it Gu Jingyan? No, Gu Jingyan would only block his own supplementary card. Why would he block my card? Then who would be able to do this? Who has the capability? Hey, Mom, it's me. What's up? I was just paying at the hospital, and the cashier said my bank card has been frozen. 
I froze it. Chao Ru Xin, going to divorce Ting Yan. I have to care for about you moving assets secretly. You can freeze Ting Yan's supplementary card. Why do you freeze my card? How could you not know that the money you froze is my mom's life saving money? But I froze. It's the goose money. If anything happens to your mom, it's her bad luck for having a daughter like you. Sorry, the number you dialed, Gu Qingyan. Why? You're never there. Every time I need you the most. Hey? Miss Chow, your mother is dying. Come up quickly. Ah, <sighs> My condolences. Mom! Mom! <laughs> Mom! Rushing! Rushing! Hurry! Call the doctor! Benzu, please help me book a ticket for tomorrow. I will go alone. Please stay behind until Kirk gets through the danger. Mr. Koo, haven't you said that you would wait for three more days? I can't wait any longer. You're awake, Rosine? Xiao Xiao, my mom. She's gone. I got it. You still have me. You must take care of yourself. Just now, you fainted. We scared to death. <laughs> I will go and buy you something. You should take a rest here, okay? Miss Jo, your examination results are out. You have symptoms of premature ovarian insufficiency. The blood test also detected drug components. I have been drinking Chinese medicine for a long time, but it is for promoting pregnancy. That's it. I'll take it for testing and find out the reason. Miss Jo, this is not medicine that promotes pregnancy. Premature ovarian insufficiency is due to this. Chong Mei Lan has been giving me this medicine for so long. I never suspected it. Wu Jingyan, he must have known. Or does it mean he has always been testily approving of this? Sorry, the subscriber you dialed cannot be connected for the moment. Hello, Jing Chuan. I saw your message you sent. What does it mean? Where the hell are you? Your mother-in-law passed away. Today is the funeral. If you don't come back soon, your wife might not make it. When did this happen? I'm overseas. I can't log in the WeChat. I don't know. <sighs> A couple of days ago. Your wife is weird these days. Hurry back. Please organize things properly. I'll be back immediately. All right. Your mother passed away? Why didn't you inform me? Mrs. Chow, you didn't even know when your wife passed away. Shouldn't you reflect on yourself? I'm talking to my daughter. How dare you interrupt as an outsider? Chow Xu Shen, if you've come to offer incense for my mom, then keep your mouth shut. You're come to cause trouble. Get out. How dare you talk to me like this? I am your father. Don't insult the word father. I don't want to argue with you today. 
if you ruin my mom's funeral, I will make your children live in the hell. Try me. Representative from the Coos is arriving. Sir Roisin's mom's funeral. We didn't help with the funeral matters for Roisin. They even show up so late. My dear girl, you've been wronged. I'm late. Grandma, I'm fine. Really? Look, Jin Yan still hasn't come. Why isn't Jin Yan here yet? Cremation is about to begin. Hey, wait! He has arrived. He has arrived. Hurry over and pay your respects. I'm sorry. The plane was delayed. Please proceed with the cremation. What nonsense are you talking about? Even if you don't comfort her, she needs to know that you are just as worried and anxious. Come on. Gu Jingyan, let's get a divorce. This is not the right time to talk about it. Blushing, what are you talking about? It's the right time to talk about it. Let's go back and talk about it, okay? I don't want to go back and talk about it. Don't worry, I don't want a penny. You don't have to prevent me from stealing your family's assets. All I want is a divorce certificate. Ciao, Roshing. I'm going to ask you one last time. Are you sure you want to divorce me? Nothing could be more certain than this moment right now. Okay, nine o'clock tomorrow morning. We'll see you at the Civil Affairs Bureau. Happy. Xiao Ruoxing, why are you in such a hurry to get rid of me? The female partner voluntarily leaves the household. Have a look. If there's no problem, you can sign it. Gu Jingyan, the son of a bitch! You were not here for a few days, probably on a date with that bitch Yao Kexing. Why don't you two think about it? That's not necessary. It's torture for the two of us to be together without a love base. Mr. Gu, sign it and go to whoever you want. You don't have to sneak around behind my back anymore. You're scared. I'm sick too. Chao Singh, do you have to be so mean? In the past, I was after Mr. Ku's one billion yuan. I'm not taking any money now. Why do I have to pander to you? To please you? When can we get remarried? Any time after today. Xiao Ruoxing, with this divorce certificate, all your favorite luxuries are gone. Let me tell you something. I can forgive your capriciousness as long as you apologize to me. I will do anything for you.
son of a bitch. Rosie, what's wrong with Gu Jingyan? Dozens of transfer records, more than 10 million yuan, just to say a few words to you. He must be drunk and out of his mind. Gu Jingyan is really good. What are you going to do with the money? Who cares about his money? Give it back to him, of course. Hello? Ruoxin doesn't want to talk to you, so she asks me to tell you. Take your fucking money back. I don't want it. Next time you transfer money to me, I will sue you for harassment. Hello? Suku, I found out everything you asked me to do. Miss Chao's mother was disturbed by a group of people. That's why she was dying. She paid for the operation. Her bank card was also frozen. Did you find out who did it? And what about the frozen cards? The troublemaker so are still being investigated. But the person who froze the bank card is your mother. No wonder she said about stealing assets that day. Got it. Go on. Yes. She's back. You're back. I would just get my stuff and go. I didn't mean to kick you out. What? Mr. Gu, do you want to check? Did I bring any of Gu's stuff? I want to talk to you. I have nothing to say to you. I didn't know your card was frozen. Oh, you don't know. So you're innocent, right? No, why do you always have to misinterpret me? I am apologizing to you. Mr. Goose apologize. It's really unique. I didn't get it. Get out of the way. I'm sorry. Gu Jingyan. Tell me honestly, if your mom told you to give me Chinese medicine, I was infertile. Do you know all along? You knew it? Yes. It doesn't matter if you can't have a baby. And at first I didn't know that the herbs my mom gave you were... Gu Gu Jingyan, the thing I regret most in my life is marrying you. From now on, I hope I won't see you again. Hello. Mr. Ku, I've got a tracking of the group that caused trouble in Miss Chow's mother's hospital room. And Mrs. Ku fainted in the hospital. It seems to be related to the Chinese medicine she drank. Okay. Check it. The pharmacy where my mom gave washing herbs. Gu Jingyan, son of a bitch. Ruo Sheng, I heard you and Jing Yan. You're her friend, aren't you? She's drunk. Please come and take her away. We're closing. She's drunk? Where's your bar? I'll be right there.
Rushing. Rushing. You are the gentleman on the phone, right? Ah, it's me. Your friend is drunk. Please take her away. We will be closing soon. Son of a bitch. Mr. Moore. I came to bring you a change of clothes. You brought me to the hotel yesterday? I knew it from Ching Chuan that you and Ching Yan divorced. I was going to call and ask you, but the pub owner said you were drunk. I'm sorry to trouble you. This bitch just divorced Gu Jing Yan. She's fucking with another man so soon. If Gu Jingyan knew about this, then she's never gonna get him back. Mr. Ku, the list of medicines you asked me to check, I checked back. This medication list is exactly the same as the first time we went to check on it. Miss Chow did get the good medicine. The medicine's fine. The medicine's fine, but your auntie was in the pharmacy too, and she scrapped some medicine with cold nature. I've asked the doctor. It can cause infertility if it's taken for too long. Did my mom change her medicine? Got it. You go out first. Yes. Mr. Ku, Chao Shusheng has been selling stocks of Xinchuang recently. Spread out more good news about Xinchuang. Spread this message more truthfully. I don't believe Chao Shusheng won't be hooked. Yes. Hello? Since you have divorced Jin Yan, please return Grandma's Jade Ring. Then I shouldn't give it to you. You probably don't want me to go see your friends, do you? Tomorrow at 10 o'clock, I will be waiting for you at Ningxing Road Cafe. Give me the jade ring quickly. Don't think about taking things from the goose. After divorcing Jing Yan, do you think this looks familiar to you? You don't want me to get pregnant. So you drugged me. Do you think no one noticed? The ingredient list means nothing. If you're so powerful, then take out the toxicity analysis report form. Aren't you afraid of that? I will tell grandma about this. Who do you think you are? How dare you threaten me? What are you doing? How dare she called Jin Yan over. Jin Yan, believe me, she spoke rudely to me first. I didn't expect you to do such a malicious thing. It's none of your business. Mr. Gu, keep your family in check. If anyone dares to provoke me again, I will make you pay the price. Sorry.
Sorry, Miss Chow. You already have two house property in your name. You are no longer eligible to buy a house in Jiang City. You must be mistaken. I don't own any house in my name. The system is infallible. You have a villa in Kunshan Peninsula. You also have a 400 square apartment at Jiangling International. And it was filed the year before last. Don't you know that? Mr. Ku, those who made trouble in the hospital were arranged by Chiao Shusheng's mistress. There are some phone recordings and photos I found. I can't believe she made such an effort. Looks like that car accident had something to do with them. By the way, I want you to look into her Euro's accident again. Okay. Hello. Gu Jingyan, are you free now? What's wrong? Come over when you have time. Transfer your two houses back. Don't get in my way of buying a house. Xiao Roxing, do you really have to? Hi, Roxing. In my opinion, just live in that house. You don't need to return to him. Isn't your youth worth two houses? Oh, hello? Hello? Roxing, bad signal. I can't hear you. Before she returns to the house, she will proactively come to you. You don't have to worry about her blackmailing you now. If you want child washing back, just do whatever I say. Come on. Eat. Oh, do you live in 901? Why are you here? Shen Qingchuan? I just moved into 902. I want to meet a new neighbor and bring you some fruit. Oh, I didn't know that you moved today. Tomorrow we will prepare a gift for you to congratulate. Oh, I think this meal is quite good. We are all old acquaintances. Don't regard me as an outsider. Do you want to eat? We don't have any extra tableware. Hello, I am in 901. Send me a set of tableware, quickly. Oh, thank you, Roshing. Jingyan helped me move today. I asked him to come over and bring me a set of tableware. And he hasn't eaten. So you don't mind him joining us, do you? Yeah. I have a present for you. Let's eat. Uh-huh. Mm. Oh. Who let you in? I... Get out of my room. Get out! Who let you in my room? You do it on purpose? Who told you to get in my room? I put so many properties in your name, much bigger than this one. Just move back in. What? You want me to be your mistress, just like Yao Kexing? Where did she become a mistress? The headlines are all about this. Who doesn't know that she is your mistress? I'm just providing her with resources. I have nothing to do with her. Nothing? Then how come she's pregnant with your child? Is sexual reproduction? When did she have my baby? Now you are denying it. Open your eyes. Only I can see the post.
You have nothing to explain. Ruo Xing, when I have finished things with Ke, I'll tell you everything. Mr. Shun just moved. I'm sure he hasn't had time to pack yet. You can leave. Sorry to trouble you. Your mouth is a total waste. What a great opportunity. What are you afraid of? I have my reasons. I have my reasons. Well, has all the money Joe Sushan invested in Xinchuang technology lost? Not yet, but it's almost half. Keep doing leverage. As long as it doesn't get out, I'll make him lose everything. To be frank, you are good at judging people, especially Zhao Sushan. Ruo Xing, don't be too anxious. Didn't the doctor say, as long as you get good treatment, your body will definitely recover. Thank you, Xiao Xiao. Ruo Xing, look! It's that woman! Why is she here? Is she pregnant? It's weird. Cao Xuzhen had a son in an old age? He must be very happy. Why is she hiding it? Unless... She's not pregnant with Cao Xuzhen's child. I will go and take a look. She won't say anything anyway. Uh, I'm sorry! What's wrong with you? Don't you have eyes? Who allows you to touch my stuff? Go away! How's it going? Rosine, as long as you expose by who is cheating to Chao Shushen, they are bound to have a fight. Maybe something will come out. Xiao, can you find out more about Bai Hui for me? The more details, the better. You can count on me! The flowers are sent? Yes. She didn't throw them out this time. Miss Tang said she would use them in the bath. Miss Chow agreed. Mr. Ku, why didn't you tell Miss Chow about the cur? It's too early to tell. Just wait for everything to settle down. By the way, how's Ke? She's alive and well. She's asking when you will take Miss Chow to see her. That's good. And how's the investigation into her Euro's car accident court? I was just about to report to you. We found the driver who was involved in the accident. Chao Shu Sang instructed him to do it. It was him. Keep an eye on him. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, there was sir. a bit of traffic. I just got here. Mr. Moore, I'd like to ask you something. Divorce agreement? Yes. My mom left it seven years ago. I wonder if after signing the divorce papers, something happens to one of the parties. Is the agreement still effective? This is a difficult case. Your mother is dead. This agreement is not valid. But if... My mother's death wasn't an accident? Unless you can find evidence to charge. And if you succeed, not only will this agreement be effective, someone will be held criminally liable. I will find the evidence. I will make them scums pay. Mr. Moore, I'd like you to help me with this case. Sure. I'll do my best. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Wu Jingyang, what are you doing? Jingyang, let's talk this over. Don't use violence. That's all for today, Mr. Mo. Let go of me, Wu Jingyang. You're just my ex-husband. Wu Jingyang! If you dare to force me, I will never let you go. How do you do that? I want you. Stay away from Mo Ming Xuan. Who are you to tell me what to do? It's none of your business who I'm with. Gu Jingyan? Gu Jingyan? It's so hot. Don't go. I will get you some antipyretics. Don't go. 
I'm afraid that if I let go, I won't be able to find you. I won't go. Come on, I will get you some medicine. There's no water. Just swallow it. Don't go. I'm afraid you're with other men. I'm jealous of Mo Ming Swan. You didn't seem to care about me when you were missing with Yao Kexi. You even helped her take away my voiceover job. Where's Ruo Sheng? She stayed here the whole night to take care of you. She just left. Uh, Lin Chu, check on Ruo Sheng's Weibo account. What you want to do with Mo Ming Suan? And cut off all resources of Yao Kexin. Okay. Don't go. I'm afraid you're with other men. I'm jealous of Mo Ming Suan. Oh, you didn't come back last night. Now you are sitting here and starting into space. What happened? Nothing. You stayed with Gu Jingyan last night. Did something happen? Stop your nonsense. Okay, I will stop teasing you. You asked me to investigate about Bai Hui. I've got something. <laughs> it's time to meet up with this vicious couple. Why is it dropping a cat? You should have listened to me and sold out all the Xin Chuang stocks. You know nothing. Xin Chuang is on the rise. It's even more difficult to access its stock purchase. If I sell them out, my investment will be in vain. You unfilial daughter, you've got the nerve to come back. She can move in, even though as an outsider. I'm your daughter. Why can't I come oh, back? Remember, you're from the Chows. You divorced Gu Jingyan on your own. Why didn't you ask me? You used me to build up your business. Isn't it enough? What are you talking about? You don't feel well recently. Don't get angry. Calm down and have a nice talk. You are just like your mother. Don't mention my mother. That's a humiliation to her. You like this woman the most, right? Check this out. See what she did behind your back. How is it? Is it going well? Bitch, Xu Shen, it's not true. Don't believe Chao Ren Xin. It's leave the evidence into my face. How can you explain? Gotta beat you to death, bitch. You think I wanted to? Chao Xu Shen, you're a coward. You promised firmly that you would give me and my daughter a home. But in the end, when her euro showed the evidence of your evading taxes, you cringe. If I didn't advise you to kill her euro, you'd be in jail now. What a bring up histories. If you did seduce me, I wouldn't have betrayed euro. This vicious couple killed my mom. Who she? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna put this vexious couple into jail. Jin Yan? Miss Xiao, Mr. Gu is busy with work. Miss Xiao, you can't go in there. Mr. Gu, I couldn't stop her. Jin Yan, my contract is due soon. But Mr. Shun hasn't talked about extending it. I need your help. This is between you and San Ching Chuan. Jin Yan, as you know, I've always felt like he doesn't like me. I dare not ask him. The contract between you and me has expired. You don't have to write a negotiate with me. Gu Jingyan, why do you treat me like this? Don't you think I have no idea about those things you did? The blooded bandage. You thought you had would be accepted by making Ruo Xing and me divorce. Just wishful thinking. Guess what? If you keep making troubles, you know the consequences. Get out!
Siku, you asked me to check Miss Chiao's Weibo. I've got something. She is Rimu Fan Singh. What? She's the top one character voice artist, Rimu Fan Singh. Are you done with the game of stalking me? Who is stalking you? By the way, why did she meet up with Mo Mingchuan? For a lawsuit against Chao Sushan. That's why she met up with Mr. Mo. Try every means to help her secretly. Okay. What do you want to say to me? Don't you want to know who sent those gangsters to mess up in your mother's ward? What do you know? I didn't know you were Rimu Fonsing. If this is what you want to say, there is no need. Gu Xinyan? This is the evidence that Bai Hui ordered gangsters to mess up in your mother's ward. What do you mean? I wanna... start over to chase you again. Chasing me is not easy. Don't stay dream. I won't give up. I'm serious. Thanks for this. I didn't see you. Where did you go? Downstairs. Took this. The one who messed up in hospital is instructed by her. This vexed couple was afraid of my mom's waking. Okay, all on me. I shouldn't lose myself in the result of exposure of the proof in my hands. Well, now with this, we have more chance to win. This file was sent by Gu Jingyan? Yes. I didn't expect... He would investigate this. You bet. Gu Jingyan is surely nice. Firstly, it's obvious that he is nice to you. And he had nothing with Xiao Kexin. The most important is he's generous enough. What about considering him again? We are on serious issue. You're always mentioning him. The case will start tomorrow. I will go and call Mr. Moore. Our party, Miss Chao Ruoxi, sued defendant Chao Sushang for infidelity within marriage. No execution after signing divorce agreement and transfer as well as seizure of the common assets of a spouse. Our party, Mr. Chao, indicated regarding the existence of Miss Bai. Miss He knew it. And Mr. Chao had relationship with Miss Bai after Miss He had accident. No assets transferred. Chao Xuesheng is taking advantage of my mom's death to distort the truth. Disagree. Chao Xuesheng had an affair with a marriage and used common assets of a spouse to buy a house for Bai Hui. This is the proof. I want to ask Miss Chao. As what identity did you sue, Mr. Chao? Daughter. Strike a property division case with him for my mom. Any problem? Yes. This files show that you are not Mr. Chow's biological daughter. You are not qualified either to sue Mr. Chow. Roche. You are not my biological daughter. Actually, I plan to bury it in Pali all this life. In my heart, you are like the biological... You got a force living with nothing, I understand that. Your lack of money. Why could you contend with me for this little money? Chao Xuesheng, you're such a bastard. The Hus gave so much money to you for your business. Now you are successful, but slandering my mom. What a bastard! Complaining, mind your words. Your justice. Complainant has more information to show up. Thanks.
Zhao Ruosheng has total qualification to sue Chao Shusheng. Because this paternity test is fake. Chao Shusheng, you can't even make up anything for yourself. How did my mom treat you? You are not clear? You did this. You are not afraid of the punishment of the god? Complain and Chao Ruosheng is qualified to sue Chao Shusheng. Go on. Defendant Bai Hui during Miss He's rest in hospital hired someone to harass Miss Hei on purpose. Which led to Miss He's death. This is phone recording. Down that? Yes. She was taken off the ventilator for so long. I'm sure she'll die in a day. She can't even live beyond tonight. Miss Xiao, what about the final payment? As long as you've done the matter, I won't treat you bad. How could you do that? Your justice, I did not know that. I should have known. People like Chao Shusheng is just a count who is selfish and mean. He must be going to give up everything to protect himself. We will really let go of him and set him free? Your justice, we have a witness. Please provide your words. Seven years ago, Chao Shusheng instructed me to design an accident. This lad here you rode to be a vegetative state. Here are the transfer records from me. Chao Shusheng, you are suspected of intentional homicide. We are arresting you now. Mom, I made it. I've taken the revenge for you. Mr. Mo, thank you for today. That's what I'm supposed to do. But the person she'll thank the most is him. Gu Jinyan, thanks. I remember. You don't like being indebted to others, do you? Then we will be even. Bitch, because of you, you're ruining my family. Gu Jinyan, hold on. Help! Please call an ambulance. Gu Jinyan. Gu Jinyan, please wake up. I already lost my mom. I can't lose you. Uncle Gu, what's wrong with you? Who are you? You must be Auntie Chiao. You are so beautiful. Miss Chiao, she is the child of Mr. Gu's Australian friend. Her name is Ke. Her father is dead. Because of her special status, Mr. Gu's been taking care of her secretly. Why haven't I heard you guys mention that? So, the day you came out of the impatient unit, are you going to visit her? Ke suffers from congenital anemia, and she has a special blood type, so she's been living in the hospital the whole time. Her last surgery was the day your mom died. Why didn't you tell me? What about Yao Kexi? She's with you? Miss Yao matches Ke's blood type. In order to ask Miss Yao to give Ke upon marrow transplant, Sir Ku signed a contract with her to provide her with resources. Auntie Chiao, Uncle Gu is very nice. He talked about you every time he came to see me. What did he say to you? He said you were pretty and gentle. Oh, he also said you were so excellent that he wanted to hide you. When did I say those things? Uncle Gu, you are awake. Didn't I tell you not to go anywhere, right? Because condition has stabilized. She'll be out in a few days. Ke, she want to eat ice cream, right? Let's go. Okay. What are you doing? Ah, ah, ah. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Did I touch your wound? You lied to me. Don't move. If you move, my wound will really open up. You can talk to me about Ke. Sorry, I was wrong. 
What was wrong? I'm sorry about my self-righteousness. Shun decide everything on my own. I was going to tell you about Kerr, but we were getting divorced at the time. I thought you didn't care about me, so I... I'm sorry. Well, I forgive you. Xiao Ruoxing, I love you. I love you too.